sunny super lovely today in Cornwall and we are on mission upgrade our bubble heater so when we first got Skylar we um, installed the bubble air heater which heats the hot water off of the diesel heater now about a month later they brought out their new version which is Dwayne has here the 12 volt system so um, that basically means that we will then be getting hot water from our excess solar. So a day like today, we've been at 100% since we woke up this morning at like nine o'clock. And so we would have instantly have hot water. So we wouldn't have to turn our diesel heater on and heat it through there. So mission today is to change that over. I would admit to you, I forgot to start recording. So I will show you how far we've got, which is removing our old, um, We've removed our old tank, we've cleaned the area. Um, and this is the where the new tank's gonna go. And some of this setup will look a little bit different because we didn't need the extra pump that we had to have and all that kind of stuff. So we're just gonna sit and work it out now. Tank thought we'd take a moment to show you what we get. So you get the beautiful water heater. Yeah, yeah. And then you have the um, temperature gauge as I mistakenly didn't think we had. Yeah. You have the cabling to go um, to the battery and the relay and the Solaris. What else do we have here? We have some of this is my stuff as well. We have the Solaris, which will program and, oh, it goes this way around, which will program and it will tell us what our battery is and it will switch on the electric side of the heating element. And then we have our relay. That's all together with that. That all comes in one thing. Then we got this tube. This red and blue tube is ours but it comes with this black tube and all the extra fittings that you need including a drain valve we actually have a really nice drain valve but i think actually we might just use theirs because we have to a few non-return valves corner things loads of these which is brilliant and like one way turny see this is a very um explanatory system here um so yeah, uh, I also then have all my wire things just in case we need to do that section. And obviously it comes with the instructions. So we're gonna try and put this all together. Tank's obviously helping the situation, aren't you Tank? Are you helping? You gonna help? Yeah? Are you gonna help? Good. I'm glad you're gonna help, because we might need the help. Right, let's go on with it. We are finished. Ta -da! <clears throat> so we have this will come from our cold water pump, and that is incorrect. <laughs> Scrap, cut, <laughs> cut. Scrap that, cut. This try again. Will come from our cold water tap into here, off to our air. Just buy a house, folks. Just don't bother with that. Air right? heater. Just buy a house. So, air, no, our heat exchange. In the house. Shh, our heat exchange. It'll go through the other side of the heat exchange, which we have in there. <clears throat> and then that's incorrect. Cut that as well. <laughs> Cut that too. What? We'll put this on the outtakes. <laughs> it looks buy a house, folks. Just, if you don't get this trouble with the house, just saying. Phone a plumber, he sorts it out for you. 
Right, okay, so it Take goes. Take three. <laughs> we'll try again. Serious faces. It goes from our cold water pump in here to the heat exchange, out of the heat exchange, into the cold water. Filling this full of cold water or hot water, depending on what the heat exchange is doing. So, cold water if the heat exchange is off. Then you've got the hot water coming out of there into our pump, into the heat exchange and pumping it around the system, making it hot when we're using the diesel heater. Then this pipe comes off to our hot water to give us hot water. And there you have it, folks. It was as easy, easy as that. Easy as pie. I mean, it didn't even take half an hour. It took what, 10 minutes? Well, it's, it will only take half an hour. No, no, it, this was Less 10 minutes. Less than that, you know? Yeah, we No, can't. it took more than half an hour. Yeah. So, um, the only issue we have is we need to buy... Um, A house. <laughs> no. Oh, right. Never. Um, we need to buy an attachment that goes into this um, bigot yeah. to our pipe. That's the issue we have right now. Um, but we're going to go and put it in anyway. Yep. And get it all in their place and screwed in so that all we have to do is attach this to the other pipe, which is already in there anyway. Correct? Yep. So we'll see you inside the van. Oh, it may just kill ourselves. Did they give us screws to screw it down with? No. It's a bit rude, isn't it? We need screws. That's the other thing. We um, need. I'll get some. Okay. Right. See you in a bit. Ciao, Bella. This has and always been the most difficult part to film. As Dwayne gets off the back of the thing, water temperature controller, um, to put the temperature cable in. Oh, well done. Thank you. Everyone who knows, now I can say that Dwayne does electrics. Well, on the odd occasion, isn't it? When you fancy it, hey babe. I've got, to, I've got to be in the mood. It's like baking. You know, you can't just get on and just bake a cake. And obviously Tank, be in is, the mood. Tank is helping the situation. Right by my legs. Why have I got to be right by my legs? You go out that way. Go on, scooch through. Oh, Tank, come on. See? He's very annoying, isn't he? People so think then, Tank's really cute and oh, he's so lovely. Very annoying dog. We don't need to alter anything else on this, do we? No, that's okay. that's it. Well, until I do the electric side of it. Okay, for the electrics. I think actually that's this side though. Oh, babe, I'm so proud of you. I'm uh, proud of myself. I didn't break anything normally. I break everything. Yeah, it? that's so. true. And then you get pissed off. Put it in straight, yeah. Oh, well, uh, oh, beautiful! So yeah, this one's none of that one does reach. Yeah, it does reach. I am. Um, the only other thing is I I can't see that hole to put this through. It's just there. Leave it there. I'll have it. I'll get it in a sec. Okay. What I'm gonna do now is everyone. Sorry, sorry guys. No one wants to look there. Um, I'm going to do. Can you see? No, that's just the pliers. See, this is such a difficult angle to view to film. Let's see. Now you'll be able to see. Um, I'm going to put all these pipes to the heat exchange, and I'm going to fix the pump that pumps the water through the heat exchange to the floor. And then, oh, I need to also, there's a pipe work at the other end, which is hot water, which just needs to be changed from a T-junction to a 90 degree bend. That's over here, look, I'll show you. That one just there needs to be changed. So those are the things I'm gonna do. It's easier if I just put you up and you just zoom through me. Dwayne's no. gonna cook some food. What's happening to my hair? There you go. What's that face for? What face? Oh, is that your usual face? Yep. It's my YouTube face. You know, like you have a YouTube voice. I this don't. Is, this is not actually a real voice. Everybody. Uh, it's my YouTube face. Okay. If you've met me in person, 
You can comment below if you think I have a YouTube voice or if you think my voice is exactly the same on YouTube as it is in person. But Dwayne thinks I have a YouTube voice. Hi guys. Hi. I don't say that. Hi guys. It's Welcome like, a, to my you know, like everybody has a telephone voice when they're like, you know. Yeah, I'm extremely posh on the telephone. Yeah, you're the same on YouTube. Hey, hey, really? I'm posh. Right. Go and cook some food. Hi. And I'm going to tank flicking my feet. <laughs> really tank, stop guy. being a minion. <laughs> and that. I'm going to finish off the pipe work and then that's that section Ooh. done. Then we've just got to do the wiring, which I need some cable for. And Mark from Victron. He's not from Victron. Mark from... Um, from Planet Victron. <laughs> Planet right. Victron, yeah. Mark the Victron <laughs> King. If you are buying Victron kit, you should buy it through Mark because he knows his stuff and he can get you a good deal, you know? So I'll put his details in the in the section below. But he's um we're seeing him on Wednesday. So he's gonna give us the cable that I need. I told him what I need, so well he's gonna tell me what I need, and I've told him what I need. He's gonna give it to me. Um yeah, so yeah, let's go on with doing that. So I've got up to where I can get up to without having the extra things that I'm waiting for, etc. So I'm going to leave the pipe work as it is. One, because I don't want to have two short pipes. Because I've had that in the past and I'm, I'm learning from mistakes. And two, there isn't a two, just don't want short pipes. So um, this is what it looks like down here. And so this pipe is the one that goes off to the hot and then there's another pipe that's going to join in the cold so obviously i want them to join in the right place etc so just waiting for those to um arrive and then i'll be able to do it so until then i'm just gonna pack away hello i am driving today um we are going somewhere exciting we've just left cornwall International Camper Van Show. We're going to the International Camper Show. Woo! So we thought we'd take you on for the journey. We're going to actually be showing Skylar at the um, show, which we're super excited about. We were asked to do that, which is it's pretty exciting, I think. Exciting stuff. Um, so we, some of you may be there, some of you may not be there. Um, but we're going to be showing everyone around our van, so that's going to be really exciting. And loads of our friends are there. My parents are going to be there with their truck, so people are going to be seeing inside their truck too. Obviously, ours is better, really. Ours is less glittery. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna we're about two hours away now. We're going to switch over in a minute. So doing on the lovely M5. We definitely haven't missed motorways, that's for sure. No, it's very weird driving on the motorway now. Yeah, really boring. So boring. Um, yeah, so we'll uh, show you around when we get there. But we are arriving uh, three days early, so we're camping um, two days, getting ourselves set up and ready for the thousands of people to come through on Saturday. So it's Wednesday today. So yeah. Anyway, we'll see you in a bit, guys. In a bit just parked up and there seems to be hot air balloon that's just also arriving and also parking up but here we are cow car opposite good old mark mark say hi hi tobes bonjour and that tanks around oh tanks fooding but you come up yeah apparently we brought the sunshine with us but i thought actually the uh Hot air balloon. So by Friday, Saturday, this will all be packed. And then there is the big overlander trucks just over here. 
And that's where mum's going to be, mum and dad. So that'll be cool. But for now, I think we're going to go have some dinner. So, I've used a prime moment to do the rest of this bubble heater. So we are now at the Stratford um, show which we'll do a whole other YouTube video on, but we are dealing with, yeah, we're good. said uh, bubble heater. So my dad's currently under the van and he's got we're some going cables here. Back of the... And we're gonna go, coming out here, we're gonna go round that leg there, across here and then through. That should be enough, isn't box. it? Yeah. That should be enough. And then we've got the 16 mil cable going all the way down the back here to come out at the tank and the bubble heater which is just here so hopefully this works um hopefully we'll be able to finish it off we've just started it's like two o'clock or something hopefully we'll be able to get it done by like i don't know 4 p.m maybe and then we can chill um so yeah it's basically all gonna go in this box here um so it's coming out underneath where Tank's bed is so that it's easier to hide it because it's just literally his bed in there and then we'll put it round on the legs and then get it into the box. So that's what we're gonna do now. There's dad, working hard as usual. Dwayne, not working so hard. Rude. Dad's just kicked over the pee pit clips. <laughs> Whoops. Right, so let's go on with it. You might not see some of it, but if I don't get to be able to show you all of it, I'll just show you what it looks like at the end because that's easier. section that my mum and dad are so I wonder if people can guess which one is their van give you a little chance before I tell you don't call it a van you do everything oh sorry not van truck yeah and the answer is there is a turquoise one over here but there's us here, Colonel, right next to a kind of turquoise truck. So, uh, oh, they are in there. But we just thought we'd come have a little look. We are coming here for pizza tonight, aren't we? Yep. Good old free pizza. Hub. Oh, the pizza chains are obviously available. <laughs> yeah. everybody We've obviously got a lot of word for it, but um, <laughs> should we go see the turquoise one up there? Yeah. There's more, or even more up here. Let's have a look. Sort out Nathan. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, loving the turquoise. It's a shiny turquoise. It is, yeah, I've seen shiny turquoise. No, me either. I love all their names on the front. Look, Grumble. Grumble. <laughs> and it is a Mercedes. Ta da! Look at that. Sick. Oh, what? 
And on the back, they've got a trailer too. <laughs> so, we're back off to go and say hi to mum and dad, and then we will get back to Scotland. Cornwall and much nicer weather here and I'm just finishing off the bubble heater so I didn't film me putting our new um controller in because as I've said in this space it's really difficult to film because it's such a tight space but um as you can see it's all in use a few wagos to make it easier and now I just have to program the Solaris um had a small little leak which just a little thing needed tightening um but that's all done hopefully won't have any more leaks can only keep my fingers crossed on that one um so the Solaris is underneath my seat again another difficult one to film um so I'm just going to program it and I'll show you what it looks like because there's nowhere to stand my um, camera in that area and it's really tight as you can see it's like 
once those seat comes up, you can't see from this side. So it's easier if I just do it. This isn't a how to anyway. And then um, hopefully at the end of a long few days, I'll be able to show you that it's working. Um, although we are at 100% at the moment, um, but I don't know for how long because it's been on and off sunny. So currently there's lots of clouds and it looks like it might rain. I just said much nicer weather down here, but it has been a lot sunnier. It's not been any rain since we got back. So it might have to wait until it's a little bit sunnier to see if it's working or not. But anyway, let's go on with it. Right, so this is my Solaris. As you can see, it's showing 13.9, which is the state of my battery. And up here you can see this tiny little oh, green light in there is on. That means it's heating my hot water. I've set that to 13.8 um, because uh, oh, it's going up by the looks of things to 14 now. Um, I've set mine to 13.8 because my batteries are always full at 13.8. Um, this do sometimes go up to 14. I've got solar coming in at the moment. So that should show at the other end. Let's go to the controller. So as you could just see, there's wires everywhere in there because I haven't tidied it up yet. But that showed you the Solaris. So now if we go to this controller here, it should show me the temperature in my hot water tank. There's not much water in there at the moment because I only put a little bit in there, but enough to kind of show the temperature going up. So it's not full. So let's see. And there you have it. I don't know why that's going down though. It should be going up. It did just go up to 60. Maybe I will turn the heat in here up. Maybe I turned it the wrong way. Oh yeah, that should be working. So yeah, it will eventually go up, but I don't think, um, maybe it's gone differently for some reason i don't know i'm gonna have a look at this anyway still this is showing what temperature it was this was like 20 a minute ago so it has gone up but um yeah see it's like stage three now at 58.4 so now this sort of going in it's gonna go up Ta -da! it has worked me not being stupid. So yeah, we have now have hot water. There you go. I'm going to pack everything away now and just make sure there's no leaks on the hot water tap when I get the hot water out of the tap, which you don't need to see because that means me getting in that little gap and that's really hard to film. So um, once you have the bubble um, hybrid all in, it's actually really easy. So um, now the temperature down there is up to 60 degrees which is really quick already. Obviously the tank's not full yet. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We'll see how it goes over the next few weeks. Maybe I'll update you, update you in a video, a uh, future video. So um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I know it was a bit higgledy piggledy, not all in one day because we had to wait for things to arrive. But if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up um, and make sure you click subscribe um, and make sure you click the notifications because YouTube's changed everything and no one's getting any notifications when we're um, posting videos. So yeah, see you next time for our next video, whatever it may be.